Hi everyone, it's Teresa with this week's angel reading and I'm really happy to bring this card up this week. It's the direction card and what the angels are saying to us is that so many of us have been feeling like something needs to shift, whether it's in the way that we're showing up at work or at home or um, just in the world. We're being called to something bigger, something slightly different, and that can be really scary when we're looking at where we're standing and where we feel we're called to go, sometimes it can be overwhelming to think about, well, how am I gonna get from here to there? It doesn't make any sense. Do I have to leave my job and and my livelihood and live out in a cardboard box? Like that's some of the things that stop us from taking action is, is those fears, it's those unknowns. Um, and what the angels are saying is don't worry about the hows, just start moving in the direction of. And what they want us to understand through the card, if you saw there are signs all over the card, they're showing us that when we are asking for help and guidance, the help and guidance always comes. And we just have to be open and pay attention to where it is and then gently start moving in that direction. So. You know, it's very rarely like you wake up one morning and you're being guided to completely change your life. You know, leave everything behind, go to the mountains and live in a monastery. Um, it's very rarely something like that. You know, signs will show up like, hey, you know, maybe it's a feeling that you need to go to Starbucks. And while you're at Starbucks, you meet you know, someone who is doing the kind of work that you want to be doing and you make a connection and that's it. So the angels are taking us through our movement in small increments, in, in digestible bite-sized pieces. And so they want us to trust that. And so many of us talk ourselves out of the signs. So when we get the sign or when we get the guidance, it kind of sits there and we convince ourselves over time that it's not truly a sign and it's not truly guidance. So they want to warn us against that. So when you feel inside that you've received a sign, even take a notebook, a journal, write it down. And so that when your mind in time starts to try to convince you that it's something else, you can go back to it and feel the energy with which you wrote it down and just read what it was and how you felt in that moment. And there's one more piece to this puzzle today. The angels want to remind us that when we're working for change, whether it be small change in our house, like trying to get our kids to eat more vegetables, or we're working for grand change, like working in government or working with the poor, um, we always have to remember compassion. So they're kind of warning us against leaving that behind. Divine Mother is ever present with us in these moments, in these days, and she is compassion. And so what we're being called to is bring compassion into every bit of work that we're doing out in the world. And that is what's gonna make the difference. It's not just about moving energy, making change. It's about doing so with compassion and with love. There's always a reason. And when we can understand the other side, it gives us that much more power in working to change it because we understand where it was coming from. Now, sometimes we're never going to understand how it got there in the first place, but we can't, what we can understand is that the people who brought this also had hearts, they also had souls. So to really work to connect with those beings as divine sparks of light, you know, with those people that we um, don't feel aligned with, that we sort of feel we oppose, we can connect with them as divine sparks of light. Because just as we are manifestations of the divine on this planet in whatever respect you feel that is true um, so are they so it's just a reminder for us this week to go forth with compassion to move forward in love and to work for change from that place because our work will be that much more powerful and we will it, it won't be as much like we're running uphill constantly. It will, it will be a more ease and grace filled experience if we are working from a place of compassion and love. So that feels complete in what the angels wanted to bring us this week. But nothing brings me 
more joy than to help you through what you perceive as your blockages, to help you to come to a more empowered place, and to help you to learn to receive the angels' messages to you on a very personal level. So please, if you feel called to have your own personal angel reading where you can ask any question you want, just click the link below. You'll be taken to a page where you'll see how you can schedule your own angel reading, or you can check out the other highly transformative work that I do and that we can do together to clear your blockages so that you can show up in the world with ease and grace in the way you feel called to in this moment. So have a beautiful week, everybody. Thank you for watching. Again, my name is Teresa from HealthyVibrantYou.com. Much love.